Hello again, my friends. This is Miss Lori. I'm coming to you from Rolling Hill Zoo. It's story time again. I've chosen the Bunny of Blue Bell Hill. Now for some of you, you've been out to the zoo and maybe some of you have been in camps and you know what's coming, don't you? We have a beautiful bunny and he's gonna show up right after I read this story. So, Miss Lori better get started, huh? Okay, let's start. At the top of Bluebell Hill, there was an old oak tree. And underneath that oak tree, there was a burrow. And in that burrow lived a bunny. It was a very nice burrow with four little rooms and bluebells growing by the front door. But Bunny didn't like it. bored with this burrow, said Bunny to herself. I'm tired of walking up and down this hill. I'm fed up with being hit on the head by acorns, and I'm very, very bored with bluebells. I want an exciting new house. So without further ado, she set off to find herself one. Bunny's friend, Squirrel, took her to see her high-rise treehouse. But Bunny didn't have a head for heights, and her big paws just weren't meant for jumping about from branch to branch. I'm sorry, Squirrel, said Bunny. I think I need something a little closer to the ground. The next animal Bunny visited was Badger. He lived in a mossy bank in the heart of the old forest. It was dark and still among the trees, and there weren't many passers-by, which was just the way Badger liked it. Oh, but it's too quiet for me, said Bunny. If you like company, why not try living by the river? suggested Otter. There's always lots going on down here. But, Boney, but Bunny only had to take one look at Otter's houseboat to know that it wouldn't suit her. Oh no, it's much too wet here for me, she wailed. Hmm, then what about going to the meadow where the field mouse lives, suggested Otter. Field Mouse seemed happy living in the meadow, but no matter how hard she tried, but Bunny just could not get comfortable there. For a start, there was no shade anywhere, and when the sun beat down, it was very hot. And the pollen from the poppies was extremely sneezy, and the wheat stalks were scratchy. So that was no good either. suggested Field Mouse. Owl lived in the loft of the old barn, and it was certainly dry and very clean. But there was something wrong with that, too. Oh, my goodness, Bunny said. It's just too drafty. Would she ever find a new home? In the shadow of the mountain, the little rabbit found an empty cave. It was slightly gloomy, but at least there was lots of space. She thought it might be just the place until she heard a rumbling sound. A low, rumbly, growly sort of sound. Then she realized, oh my gracious, it's a bear's house. Oh! And Bear snores too much, said Bunny. I possibly could not live in that place. Bunny was about to give up looking 
when she came across a smart blue door amongst the twisted roots of a chestnut tree. This would be perfect, Bunny said to herself, but something seemed wrong. The place had a funny smell, a frightful, foxy sort of smell. Suddenly, Bunny felt very afraid and she ran away as fast as she could. Oh boy, there's the blue door. Look here, that's what she's running away from. What is that? It's a fox, that's right. Bunny ran and ran past the barn and the field, the river and the forest, all the way back to Bluebell Hill. She ran up the hill, past the bluebells and the oak tree, and straight in through her own front door. Bunny looked around her little burrow. It's not too hot or too wet. It's not too quiet or too noisy. In fact, it's the perfect place for me, said Bunny happily. And so it was. Home sweet home. Well, I'll tell you what, the bunny's coming and Miss Jessica's almost here. Thanks so much and have a great day. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you, Miss Lori, for reading The Bunny of Blue Bell Hill. This here is our bunny, or what we call our rabbit. He's a Flemish giant rabbit, Mr. Bun. And he actually is a completely domesticated species. So you're not going to find any of these guys out in the wild. They are believed to, their breed originated from Belgium in Germany. And the reason why they were originally bred was for their fur and meat. And that's because they repopulate so quickly, they were used to be placed on ships. And when the sailors would set sail, they would have these guys and they eat very, very minimal uh, hay and grasses. So they are easily uh, cared for on ships. So, and they would produce quite a bit and grow quickly. So they would use them for their fur and meat. They're actually still today used for their fur and meat. Now in the wild, rabbits do eat uh, just grasses or haze. And so he's going to be a prey species or what we call an herbivore. Mr. Bun here is actually being very, very well behaved staying right here for you guys to get a close up. Now, rabbits actually have terrible eyesight up close because they actually have a special eyesight to help them detect movements in the distance so that they can protect themselves from any predators that might be. Now, since these guys are a completely domesticated species, they don't have any actual predators except for, of course, people. Rabbits actually cannot deal with heat very well. Their blood vessels in their ears will actually swell up and act as a cooling system for them. And then when they get too cold, their blood vessels in their ears will actually constrict and get smaller to help them warm up. Now, Flemish giant rabbits are going to be your largest domestic species that we have in the world. These guys can weigh up to 25 pounds. Mr. Bun here weighs, I believe, between 15 and 16 pounds. I would have to ask Zach or Cody what his last weight was. You guys can certainly comment below and maybe guess his weight and see if you can um, guess it right on. Now, Mr. Bun here is going to be five years old. I'm sorry, he is five years old. And, um, these guys can live up to about 10 years old with good care, which he gets great care. He has a beautiful large enclosure that you guys have gotten to see when you guys got to tour the main barn. If you guys have any questions about Mr. Bun here, I encourage you to comment below and don't forget to guess his weight if you can guess it right on. And I wanna thank you guys and we'll see you guys next time.